been dealing with um, continuous and severe sort of chest pain um, for the past week or so. Um, <clears throat> got a sense it's probably maybe connected to my activity of writing this letter uh, to my mum um, and perhaps a part of me is just not aware of the distress it's causing to do that um, and I have a, a sense that there's lots of accumulated uh, stress and other things trauma, emotional pain and it's kind of reaching a point where it's bringing up um, the symptom of chest pain and it's manifesting in this way um, and also perhaps dissociation and um, kind of recently read about a term called brain fog um, and that's kind of describes I can't remember if I mentioned it in my last episode or not um, but the sort of muddled thinking and um, difficult concentrating um, so I've kind of got those three three symptoms I'm dealing with at the moment um, which seem in some way they're related um, uh, so with the chest pain I um, this past weekend I contacted uh, 111 and tried to get some help through them and um, kind of went through several checks um, it was a, quite a stressful a stressful period for me to try and explain myself and go through the process of answering questions and um, as it was late at night it was really difficult for me to try and get to to see the doctor even though they really recommended I did but um, I'd have to get like two buses to get there um, at that time of night which would be distressing in itself to, for me to try and figure out on my own and do so I ended up waiting till Monday um, and make an appointment and that was um, stressful in itself because to make a same day appointment you have to call and of course all the lines were busy and uh, originally I, I kept calling back just to see if I could get through then I kind of gave up and thought I'd wait until the rush is gone because um, I think with chest pain it's an urgent thing they'll have to see me so um, but it was tricky because when I spoke to the receptionist of the surgery it was um, yeah it was, it was really tricky um, I think with what they deal with and the level of busyness and it was almost like tough to to get through to them to, to see a doctor almost it was like they're telling me you know should I call 999 and I was saying to them or trying to explain that it's been with me for a week and I've had chest pain on and off for the last month so it's not going to be um, it's it's not likely to do, be that and I don't want to just call 999 um, cause it just doesn't seem like it's that it was just hard to convey that to the receptionist and and <coughs> not like um, I'm not judging or critical of them but it was just a, a stressful process um, being on the phone with them and and they were quite stern and again it feels like it's a product of that environment where it's so many so much busyness and maybe difficult people calling as well arguing and so there's that sort of an edge to that person's tone and with my sort of sensitivities and, and um, my delicate health it was just a lot to absorb <clears throat> and in the end they <clears throat> And then he kind of suggested an appointment for later on in the week and I was trying to give them the severity of it. I was trying to say that 
I've had it for a week and I'm just worried that the toll of my body is taking being in that well I understand it to be like a stress response and yeah it's almost that to fight for an appointment on that day and I just didn't, didn't have the energy to do that and eventually <laughs> the person said you know I'll put you down on the doctor's list and I'll, and I'll decide if, if you need to be seen and so it's just a I understand the process because it's just the way it is but um for someone who finds it difficult to speak up for themselves and kind of needed someone again to really understand and of course it's a lot to ask because they don't they don't know me my personality or what I've been through or I'm going through but I, I would but I would maybe hesitate to say if someone who was more present and aware on that phone call perhaps would have picked up on that um, but this person I don't think had that capability and um, they were kind of just trying to be efficient and you know work the system in that way um, thankfully the, the doctor that called me back um, kind of went through some things and he said something right at the end of the phone call which was really more um, effective or more helpful than I realised this he gave me some reassurance right before the phone call ended it was kind of like just as we're kind of about to say bye and you know they were um, um, yeah so the, the doctor made an appointment for me to say okay we'd like you to come in and then they said at the end um, don't worry you know we'll, we'll get to the bottom of this and it made me feel that I, I was heard that you know there were some concerns there and there was like less of a fight for me having to fight for something but more someone you know felt a bit more listened to um, so that was good and then I had a positive experience with it wasn't my regular doctor it was a different doctor I saw and um, I was able to sort of explain right at the start I think because of the whole process I was feeling quite stressed and anxious so I wanted to um, write some notes before my appointment so I kind of wrote down um, dissociation um, and I think I wrote, yeah, dissociation, you know, trouble explaining myself. So just so they, they're aware of that and it sets a tone for that person to kind of ch try and tune into me a bit more. Um, and it made that appointment a lot smoother. And I'm going to try and do that again for a, an appointment in a couple of days' time. Um, so I recently had some blood, blood tests and uh, an ECG. So I think when I get my results discussed, I think I'm going to try and do that same approach to have some things, you know, I've actually jotted it down already um, in terms of brain fog and dissociation to explain at the start of the appointment that this is, I'm dealing with this quite a lot and it's going to affect the appointment. I don't know how I'm going to word it verbally, but something along those lines. And also I'm going to try and... Um, ask the doctor if that's something we can talk about as well if there's time to talk about it after the blood results and the chest pain stuff um, and also try and say um, if there's not time can we make a separate appointment to talk about it it feels like I just need some either reassurance or just to talk it through maybe um, so I'm hoping that's, that's okay to do um, So yeah, yesterday was kind of sort of an ascent taken up by doctor's appointments. I had one in the morning and then came back for the blood tests and the ECG in the late afternoon. So I found it a bit harder to relax in the daytime knowing I had to kind of plan my time and walk back to the surgery for, the, for that second appointment. Um, Yeah, so this past week's been fairly difficult with um, with that chest pain and tightness in the chest and the pressure. And what makes it even more difficult is the dissociation where 
it's really hard to dial in. You kind of know it's happening, but also you question it. You think, is that really, how serious is that? Is that happening? Or So it just yeah, it creates a bit of a mess with trying to feel how your body's feeling and the physical symptoms. Um, so especially the last few days, I've been doing my utmost to try and relax because the, the chest pain is just being continuous there. It's still here with me now. Um, so I'm trying to do things to help with that, whether it's uh, deep, you know, breath work, deep breathing, watching something that's relaxing and trying. Um, I went to the park this morning for a little walk and sat and la listened to a bit of an audio book as well and and again trying to be present is help is, is helping I think and it's really difficult to deal with the dissociation and the brain fog but I'm trying my best to do that especially today um, <clears throat> I originally was in a record of log directly after the receptionist's phone call because I was quite worked up by it and usually it's quite a good idea to, to do a vlog at that point to kind of to offload stuff but um, f yeah, for whatever reason I just wasn't able to or it just didn't happen um, yeah so over the weekend I was doing some cooking I was chopping some vegetables and I was feeling the chest pain then and maybe it was because of the exertion of doing that because it was a stressful activity for me to do I was probably feeling quite run down energy wise and with all the other symptoms it was just a lot of strain and effort to get myself to do that and I think things are so fragile for me at the moment that that slight kind of stressor on me to try and do that task of cooking was adding to it um, and that kind of made me realise that I need to, you know, to call and get some help for it. Um, so I think they're going to rule out the physical symptoms to make sure it's not anything physical and then potentially go on some medication, which I'm a little worried about doing that. But it feels like in some ways I don't have too much choice because you know I'm doing what I can myself and it's still the chest pain is there and um, I guess with affordability I know there's like CBD oils as well but I think they're quite expensive um, so for the short term it may be a case of taking that medication um, So yeah, my focus at the moment, it's almost like, yeah, all of my energy's gone into this chest pain in a sense to try and, uh, to try and relieve it in some ways to try and, and I've been kind of watching some videos about, you know, calming down the nervous system and cause it feels like that's what it is. There's so much accumulated pain and trauma and stress, anxiety, and it's reached uh, uh, such a height that you know things like chest pain are manifesting and dissociation so and I think it's, it's called regulate nervous system so I've been listening to some videos to just be aware of that and a lot of it's not some like things like loads of activities but just being present I think conscious is a big help um, so you know, I'm not adding more stress and anxiety um, and I and with the breath work and things it's hopefully trying to relieve and release things as well um. <clears throat> so I also managed to record a podcast episode earlier today um, it's been on my mind for several days because it's been a number of weeks since I've been able to record and um, hopefully after this I can go to the park and upload um, 
upload this and upload the the podcast as well um, and I think over the coming days it's just going to be doing things to help um, and maybe just simple things maybe trying to relax more um, just being aware of my stress levels and being aware of anything that causes stress and try and um, minimise that in some way so for example I got some help with some family um, to, to where I, I bought some ready meals for a, a few days um, it feels like I've vlogged about this but I can't remember maybe I don't know if I have maybe I vlogged just before it was happening I don't know um, but so I've got the last of those tonight um, I'm going to try and maybe figure out the next few days potentially um, yeah it's just in some ways it's just a norm of doing what I'm doing on the other days it's just trying to um, be extra vigilant or um, yeah I don't know what I'm trying to say yeah I guess in, in essence I'm just trying to hang in there in, in the essence um, I've been dipping into some reading as well and dipping into um, maybe to try and dip into some editing perhaps to try and see if that just helps distract and gives me an area of focus as well which may give my mind a rest um, I'm not sure it's kind of getting to late afternoon now so I'm not sure if that's if I don't do it today perhaps it could be something I maybe plan for tomorrow um, so yeah things are quite a difficult place for me really I guess even with this chest pain stuff it, it feels like my mind's not processing how serious or how much of a big deal it is not in not in serious I'm in critical danger of my health but uh, just maybe the severity of having to deal with the symptoms I'm dealing with or, you know maybe it's a dissociation which is kind of blurring things in that sense to get a, a clear perspective but yeah I think with these symptoms it's really just taking things um, moment by moment um, I'm feeling really unclear in my head right now so I can sense it's coming across in the way I'm talking that I just uh, might be a good idea to, e to end this soon because uh, yeah it doesn't feel like I'm making much sense but, um, but I kind of wanted to, to do a quick check in um, I've been watching a some movies the last over the days so that's been something I've, always, I've struggled with a lot to, but I find it quite grinding to do um, so I may try and do that tonight as well just as an evening thing maybe uh, sort of early evening so then in the you know towards bedtime maybe I can shut down a laptop and listen to an audio book or something and it will make maybe a transition to go to bed a bit better for me easier to do which is always another um, struggle um, to do and bed my bedtimes have been mixed I've had a couple, few couple of late nights and yesterday I went to bed not too late past my bedtime um, so I'm going to try and aim for that tonight as well um, not sure what I'm going to do for food yet I do have a ready meal um, thinking of it would be nice just maybe to get some food from outside potentially um, might be nice to, nice to do that for myself potentially but I guess it's tricky things my appetite and it's not a huge amount of options and I don't really want to do it as like an online on one of the like food apps because I think it just really adds up in terms of cost so 
I'm going to see if there's somewhere I can maybe after the park there's somewhere local I can walk to if there's anywhere that comes to mind um, if my anxiety is not it doesn't prevent me from doing that um, but yeah we'll see um, so yeah movie movie tonight I'll try and get a good bedtime and from now and then just uh yeah, I can feel a chest pain now, actually. Bro, I don't know if it's because it's a bit stressful to record, which I'm, which is probably a good idea to stop, or it's a bit um, taking a bit of effort to do. Maybe the stress is in the, the difficulty in trying to convey things. I think that's probably maybe it. But yeah, hopefully a restful night tonight, and um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah.